And then, another stage of opposition is when they begin to ridicule what you are doing. They begin to ridicule what, they are, what you are doing. Don't forget we talked about the glory of the latter house. Celebrate and thanking God for the little that you are doing. So, mm, see, what are they doing there? How big, even how big is their church self? Uh, what are they? They just ridicule. Ridicule what they are doing. Nehemiah chapter 4 verse 3. To buy the Ammonite who was at his side said, What they are building? Even a fox climbing on it will break down that. When they try to stop them from building, they failed. Eh, what are they, what are they doing? Even the fox. But if you look at Nehemiah chapter 12, it was not only fox that stood on it. Men stood on it. Kaya Men stood. It was not fo fox. Did not, but they were saying in chapter 4, see, they ridicule what you do. When they can't stop you from fulfilling purpose. And we don't even know. All these, all these online things. Who, who is blessed? Self? Who is this? No. They just look for ways to ridicule. You, you try to say, okay, let me join the choir. I'm going to sing. Sing as better. When you meet people and they don't have any word of encouragement, down to say, what kind of voice is that? See how you are playing. See how you are doing. And ask them, they can't do half. They can't do half. And then, Anger of the enemies. The Bible says they were angry. If you look, if you look at chapter four, verse seven, they were angry. And then, please don't, don't, don't worry your head when you see people that you don't know what you have done for them, but they are just angry. You don't know what you have done, but they are just angry when they see you. They, will, they will just do their face anyhow, and you are asking, "What did I do for this?" Uh... Sometimes you can even go and ask, "What did I do?" You didn't do anything. Huh? You didn't do anything to me. Uh, even the reply, God, you know there is something. Don't bother your head. Then you have the internal challenge. See, listen, the internal challenge is very, very serious. Internal opposition. Do you know one of the things the Lord, the Lord laid up that made me to take this kind of thing seriously? I, when when I'm in a, I can't. I'm, you must look for ways to deal with this. You know why? Because look at all the times that the Pharisees attacked and were against Jesus. Yet they were not able to capture him until they got Judas. The enemy within. Imagine they couldn't lay hands on Jesus until they could connect. In my language, they say, hand, touch hand. Yeah. Grammarian. What's that? Hand, touch hand. <laughs> the hand of the evil one outside touch the hand there's one proverb in my language that I'm trying to, rem I'm trying to remember hey, yeah, you got it you, you, you that said it in your you must say it in English inside the one outside cannot I'm telling you is, is scriptural the enemy outside cannot do anything if they cannot connect the internal oppositions. The Bible says in chapter 4 verse 10. It says their strength was giving out. They were getting tired. And then there was somebody. And then you have persistent. Don't ever think. The Bible says when, persistent opposition. The Bible says that when, when, um, when, when the devil was with Jesus. And he tempted him three times. The Bible says and he left him for, for a while. You think because you won one battle, that means the end of the hour, the devil is there waiting again. Persistent. Look at the times and the persistence that Sambalat and Tobias, they didn't stop at the first time. They continued. 
Come, let's meet together. Come, let's... They, they were consistent in the opposition. Devil did not go to Jesus once. He went three times. After that, he still left to say for a while. So for a while, persistent, and then be mindful of compromise. When all this fail, the devil is waiting for you and trying to sell compromise to you. I've given you different stages. He tries all kinds. When he fails, he sells compromise. When he fails for you not to fulfill ministry, that's why you find some pastors compromising their message. So he sells them a message that makes them, okay, if you, okay, we tried to stop you from starting ministry. You didn't stop. We tried to stop you. Okay, this is what God gave you, but uh, you can dilute it a little bit. And don't forget, I always say, the devil will not come with two horns. He will look for a way to convince. It will make it more acceptable. You know, this day and age, people will understand it better. And then they dilute it. Compromise. When they when, when they tried, somebody said, "Okay, come, let's meet together. Let come and meet us at the valley of uh, Oh no, Abi was Oh no, compromise. When when Moses went to Pharaoh, first of all, Pharaoh said no. When Pharaoh began to see the hand of God, he sold compromise to Moses about three times. Number one, he says, "Okay, go and worship, but don't go out." Another time, he said, "Just the men." Leave the women. All that time. Now, this is the most difficult one. He said, men, women, children, go. But leave your livestock. I don't know if me, I would not have fallen for that one. Because you know what everybody will say? I will get other livestock now. Uh -uh, we'll leave because of livestock. We'll now, let's go. People will be so eager. But Moses knew what he wanted. He knew what God was telling him. He said, no. We are going with everything. We are going with everything. We are going with everything. Rise up to your feet. I have to stop here. I have to stop here. You are just going to pray. Lord, give me the grace to overcome all opposition. I want to believe we all have purpose. We all have assignments. We all have a vision. Give me the grace to overcome all opposition. Give me the grace. Give me the grace. Give me the grace. I want to overcome all opposition. Go, oh God, that I'll, you, you, I'll keep standing for you. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Bible says he set his face like flint. Set his face like flint. Help me, oh God. Help me, oh God. Help me, oh God. Help me, oh God. Mari Kaba, send the Give me the grace. Maya Kaba, Santa, la Baba. Mali de lebo soto le gaya gada baba baba. Mali rebo sataya kala baba baba. Give me the grace to overcome, not to be tired, not to fall at the wayside. Help me, oh God. Help me, oh God. <laughs> oh God. In Jesus' name. Let me read Nehemiah chapter 6 verse 9 to you. They were all trying to frighten us. Thinking their hands will get too weak for the work. And it will not be completed. So the whole essence of all this attack is for the purpose not to be fulfilled. Nothing else. The whole essence of all the attack from beginning to the end is that the purpose at the end of the day have we have they, the, king, the, 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 uh, the kingdom of darkness are asking themselves have we succeeded in making sure that the purpose is not accomplished that's the long and short of the assignment of the devil he will not succeed I say he will not succeed in your life you will not succeed in your life you will not succeed Listen to me. Listen to me. If before you got a child, you are so fervent for God, 
you were so prominent in serving God. And then you got a child. And then the day you got the child, and from the moment you got the child, you drew back. Are you getting what I'm saying? You drew God. You have allowed the devil to win. Because the whole essence is to make sure you don't pursue the purpose. You are a hot minister of God before the Lord started to bless you with certain things. And then the moment you got those things, the work of God became number two. The devil has won because the whole essence is to make sure that the wall is not completed. That's the whole thing. So when you identify your purpose and your vision, you stick to it no matter what. Grace, grace, oh God. Grace, grace, grace. Give me grace. You're going to pray to stand, to pursue, to hold on. Give me the grace in the name of Jesus. Give me the grace. Give me the grace. Give me the grace. Give me the grace in the name of Jesus. Give me the grace. <laughs> Not to be discouraged. Allah kabaya la rabaza diga la ba 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 ba. In Jesus' name we pray. Some have been discouraged by the betrayers of those who are close to them. Do you know? If outsiders say things, it may not move you. It may not move you. But if someone that you think we are like this, and then you hear that such a person said this, it devastates you. Not because, but say, ah, ah, this thing should not come from this person. Hallelujah. But all of this, when you realize that it is for one purpose, to discourage you, to, to make you give up, to, for pursuing the vision. Let me say this. Very, I, I, let me say this. Do you know one of the ways that the devil, there is a phrase I always tell people. It is called, and it's a strategy of war actually. It is called isolate to destroy. So if the devil knows that I'm tapping my covering from Pastor Julius, I'm, there, are, there is a grace that I'm tapping, that I'm connecting. You know what he will do? He will bring something that will bring that, that, that barrier. So he, he isolates me when I'm not alone. Isolate. That's why I pity people. You, you know where you're coming from. Say, you allow things to happen. Sambalat, Nehemiah could have said, Sambalat and Tobiah, they were not strangers. They had a relationship with him. But he refused to give up. No matter what, come rain, come shine. Malikaba satayalaba. Landro Lebo Sata, what shall separate me from the love of God? Marikaba Satalaba. Thank you, Father. And finally, after overcoming all of this, <laughs> Nehemiah succeeded. You will succeed. I say you will succeed. Rande Satayaba. Bless God for success. Uh, bless God for good success. Uh, bless God for good success. Uh, oh, Father, thank you. At the end of the day, uh, I shall succeed. Uh, I shall triumph. I shall triumph. Uh, at the end of the day, I shall triumph. Uh, at the end of the day, I shall be celebrated. Uh, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, uh, I shall be celebrated. Uh, at the end of the day, Oh God, I shall be celebrated. In Jesus' name we pray. After the devil had had a wrestling match with Jesus and he was defeated, the Bible says angels came down 
and they worshipped and they strengthened and they celebrated the king of kings you shall be celebrated i say you shall be celebrated i say you shall be celebrated raise can we have can we have i want us to seal it this is powerful tonight this is powerful tonight i want you to seal it with the blood of jesus and the word and the word and the word and the word mari kaba santa yagala baba 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 and the word and the word mali ribo satayaba amen there are two things that the bible talked about about that makes this to be powerful we all know there's so much in the scriptures about the blood of jesus and then don't forget the bible says and the 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 the, the word became flesh so when he talks about my flesh he's talking about the word so when you eat this you are eating the word <laughs> so you have to go and study scriptures about the power of the word as much as as last says, as many times as you do this do it in remember so you are carrying the word you are carrying the word the blood is speaking for you and you are carrying the word so shall it be in the name of jesus the word shall speak for you i said the word shall speak for you the word shall be spoken into your situation the word spoke and said peace be still and to the storm and peace the storm stilled immediately where in the scriptures did you find the word spoken and it did not fulfill what it was meant to be. That's what you are carrying. That's why if you do this, this communion is power that you are carrying. It's power that you are carrying. This is not just a doctrine. Of, no, this power. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The word. The word. You are the carrier of Jesus. We sanctify this in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. As we take it, O oh God, let it mix with faith in our hearts. Alright, go on and, and, and break bread. Break bread and eat in the name of Jesus. Please prepare your offering now. Prepare your offering. Oh God. Prepare your offering, raise it up, keep it down, keep it down a bit, please, keep it down a bit. For, are we ready? Are we ready? You are all that matters, and that's why we are bringing this to you, O oh God. We bring it in humility. We bring it in reference. We bring it, oh God. And we are asking that you accept it from our hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we are asking that you bless us to give more. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Lord, bless us to give more. Bless us to give more. Let bless us to be a blessing to your kingdom more than ever before. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Accept our offering, O God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You Bye. 
o'clock fellowship on zoom don't miss it please and not only that please let's invite people to join and also sunday do your best to bring someone call invite to come and be able to, to come and be blessed to come and be blessed to come and have an encounter the king of kings will be amongst us in the name of jesus shall we share the grace may the grace of our lord Joshua wanted the book of the law shall not be bad out of my mouth, and I shall meditate in the night. But I will not do according to all that is written in me, for then I shall make my way to Pharaoh, and then I shall have my good success. Success is your portion in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.